Hey everybody, welcome back to Rough Night Gaming, I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And we're playing Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and we've got some stuff we need to grab from our buddy here. Yes, uh, we grabbed the King of the Soul last... Or King of the... Nope. King of the Soul! King of the Soul! Soul of the King last episode, and uh, I really wanted to... Nope. Nope, we need to trade him. Um, I really wanted to take a look at them. Actually, you've grabbed a few more items since last we uh, encountered these people. Like the Spitfire cool. Spear. Do we want to read all of these? or uh, Not necessarily. Take a look at that. We also have this. Let's take a look at the king's gear. Let's take a look at the shield first. Um, one frag... So this is important. Okay, listen to this. One fragment of dark, having taken human shape, became obsessed with the king's soul. Impelled by its own cravings, it sought souls and strove to make the strength of the giants its own. Does that tell you anything? Well, it makes... So the dark is humanity, right? That's what it's supposed to symbolize? That's... Uh, yes. In Dark but... Souls 1, the DLC, like all those little floaty things rolling around, that was humanity, they were dark. Sure, they say sure. the dark. And... I think in this one, though, it's a little bit more than that. I think it actually is just dark as darkness. But it says that it took human shape and became obsessed with the king's soul. Um, now, what is this, this bit about the... Uh, the giants. Well, it's earlier they said something about the king going to the land of the giants and taking something back. Right. And do you remember what... Who sent him there? Uh, the queen. The queen sent him there. So it follows that, impelled by its own cravings, it sought souls and strove oh. to make the strength of the giants its own. What does that tell so you? So that the dark took human shape and was obsessed with the king's soul, but it didn't take the form of the king it took the form of the queen that is correct oh the that's queen, tricky that that is your clue that this whole time that the queen is she also said that you don't need two rulers to rule a kingdom uh-huh the queen is evil that's awesome if you look very closely at the shield unfortunately we can't really like get too much better look than this it looks a lot like a shield in dark souls 3 called the king the shield of want mm. um Anyway, that's that's all I've got. So when we look, play Dark Souls 3, we'll talk about the Shield of Want. <clears throat> that's the Ultra Great Sword from the King. <laughs> super, super good. Uh, I love the name. It's Ultra Great. This, yeah. This, this great this sword, the, the, it's the King's, and it's Ultra Great, man. It's Ultra Great Sword. Um, only the King knows whether the depiction of the Queen is a resentful mockery or an affectionate exaltation. Mm. There's depiction of the queen. Interesting, huh? Now, this sword is right up your alley. It's super powerful, super good. I think it would scale. I think you could get some good damage from it. And I believe there's also another sword of his. The ruler's sword. I mean, look at that thing. It's like an all-around weapon. Yeah, interesting. This sword is very neat. Let's take a look at it. So, it is still a great sword, but it says that the strength of the sword is relative to the number of souls possessed by its wielder. Oh! And it's the same same lore on it now what's cool is that remember in the original there were chaos uh your weapons. chaos weapons would yeah. scale with how many humanity you had in the, on you remember oh yeah so yeah. it's kind of similar to that the more souls you have on you the more damage you can rock with that weapon so so let's go fuck this queen up yes let's go to the queen um but we're gonna go to dragon Lake castle where it's just um, where the queen is we're gonna go investigate some things first before we in the castle before we go straight to her uh, so we're gonna go to the Dranglet Castle, and we're gonna go to let's see the f let's try the first one. Yeah, let's go to the first one. Okay. Okay, boss. That's me. I'm the boss. <clears throat> All right. So um, who's here? Carol. Mm, no. <laughs> let's uh let's continue. Let's go through that passageway. We're not gonna go straight to where the queen is because we're gonna check out some stuff. We're gonna go up this ladder. Did I miss? Are these things I missed, or are there these things is, that have changed? There's since? one thing you've missed, and I I wanted to see one thing in the whole game. There's I also wanted to remember that thing behind you is gonna turn into a person. Nope. And that guy should wait. It, what the fuck? Great, great work. What the fuck? Solid. And I can't turn him into something. What? He's supposed to. You some bitch. Oh, that works too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, keep going. Uh, yeah, through there. I don't remember this part. Have I been here? Yes, you have. Oh, I do just, remember this just part. Zipped on by and just ran just through the whole thing. You also didn't open up any of those other doors there, but they're not important. Let's go up those the stairs. 
the, the invisible guys here. Let's not talk to him just yet. Let's go through those doors. Which is another weird thing. I was like, why didn't you just go investigate those doors? Not that there's anything worth seeing here, except for the throne room. Bunch of blood stains. There's a bunch of blood stains. There's also nothing really here. It's kind right. of an empty room. Isn't that weird? Let's like a, let's take a look at their uh, their uh, messages. No, their Roman. their um, giants. Yeah, something? yeah. These 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 thrones. I said the word. It's good. I said thrones. Now take a look at their thrones. They have different looking thrones. This one has lions depicted upon it, and mm -hmm. it's like a lighter wood, and it's in looks like kind of bad shape. Mm -hmm. And the other one is dark, but also has lions and it's dark. Um, it's just interesting because it's like they've they've just been sitting here, but there's no one to sit on them, and there's no like court. There's no. And the queen's elsewhere. Yeah, the the queen is in a, in a different place entirely. Like she's she's still in Dranglight Castle, but she's not here. She has no interest. It's rather odd. Anyway, we can leave. Uh, go talk to the ghost. I don't know if he's got anything to say, but just in case. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. It's raining. Welcome, visitor. You can also buy some stuff from him, too. Bolts? Steven. Magic bolts. Yeah, uh, lightning bolts. This is the way of our castle. Like Zeus. Tell me if you should require anything. Yeah. I do, actually. If you could sell me... Take a look at that gear. It's got a bunch of really cool-looking shit. It does, doesn't he? Black Flamestone Dagger. Let's read some of it. Uh, it's the end of the game. game. A dagger affixed with a black crystal, found deep inside the gutter in the Black Gulch. Heavier than a standard dagger, but with a fine crystal that gives it a smoother slice. Some of the more determined souls exiled to the gutter sought to scale the walls of the Forsaken Place and walk the earth once again, but failed and wasted away, mired in misery and resentment. Makes you wonder if those giants down there were imprisoned. In the gutter? Oh, in the um, Black Gulch? Black Gulch, the gutter. There were giants in the gutter? Well, you know, in... in let's read the rest of the Oh, tabs. all oak. I consider it all part of the same thing. Sorry. So this longsword was found in the Iron Keep. Breaks easily due to corrosion. In the old Iron King's great Iron Keep was a vast collection of weapons erected as a display of strength to the world, but they were lost when the king's conceit doomed the castle to sink into a lake of fire. I see. Flamberge literally yeah, means we've seen this flame one. blade. Yeah. yeah. Bound hand axe, an axe with an unusual design, found in the undead purgatory. I like how each of these is telling you where they came from. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty cool, and they all come from someplace different, so that almost seems more significant, right? Right. Accessories that are added to a weapon for the sole purpose of tormenting foes can often detract from the weapon's natural effectiveness. Okay. Pole with lumps attached to homunculus it. Homunculus mace. mace. Found in the manor in Aldia. Now, a homunculus and the manor of Aldia are interesting tied together. In the far eastern outskirts of Drang Lake lies an old manor that is now forgotten, as it should be, for the things that lurk there are better left unknown. Whoa. So, who's Aldia? Aldia was the face. The, yes, the scholar of the first sin. Uh -huh. Right. Brother to Vendrick, I believe. Ooh. So he had his own manor, and what was going on in his manor? There was all those giants that were like piled up and dead. There were these weird experiment things. There Green were ooze, dragon stuff. This one talks about a homunculus. A homunculus. I, it's not described in the game, but a homunculus is a created being. Um, that was. It's like an imp-like being that was like grown in a in a uh, vial that is birthed. Like that is shoved inside of a horse to be birthed, and it, it's like a small man. It's oh, really I've messed. seen Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, it's really messed up. But but it is a basically a, a golem. Mm -hmm. It's a created being. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. does that tie into the giants? Why are all the de oh is he? Well, this ties into my theory about that. I want to address more in Dark Souls Three. Oh, but we'll keep talking about that later. That's just a lucerne, nothing fancy. Transgressor's staff, found in the heart of the dark chasm. No one knows what lies beyond the dark passages found across Drang Lake. Perhaps they are better left undisturbed. Leather shield. No. Yep. Undisturbed. Black yeah. flams, flamestone parma, found deep inside the gutter in the Black Gulch. Heavier than a standard small shield, but the hard crystal boosts defense against slashing. Some of the more determined. Yeah, it's the same. Same, same. Uh, Iron uh, same King, with the yellow keep, do, do, do. bound wooden bound shield, homunculus. 
homunculus wouldn't. Yeah, it looks like they're all like stats. <gasps> Yay! What about the shields? No, no, or no. With that no. ring. Okay. Oh, it's just a knuckle ring. Yeah. Okay. Look at these. This is gorgeous. There you go. Should get some lightning ones out. That's what I would get. Two hundred ten. Uh, sure. If you want to spend them all, you're, it's the end of the game. You're not going to use them for anything. Bronzos. Did you look at his uh, spells? Oh. Um. No. Yes. You didn't. Oh, yes. Tell me. Shut up. I just want to buy your things, dude. God. That one. Great magic barrier. You picked that up naturally earlier. The Knights of Mirror are expected to fight honorably with reliance only upon swordsmanship. They only resort to magic the only time they truly need it. To face the magic of an enemy. Aha. Uh -huh. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Okay. All right. Uh, we can go back to the bonfire. Hold on, hold on. I got some important stuff I need to do right about here. Boom. Okay. Man, you are beefed. All right, Marcus, are you ready to go and fight the last bosses of the game? Mm, like me personally, no. But Baby Cake is fucking oh, yeah, he's fucking right. jacked for it. Look at that. Look, Look at, at that upper lip. It's so sexy. So stiff. Let's do this. Oh, no, you're good oh, where you oh, are. Oh, right here. Yeah, oh, right okay. here. Awesome. Yep. All right, turn left. Do you remember this that door, this, huh? this door wouldn't open without the sign of the king? Uh huh. And now you have the seal of the king. Uh, I have it equipped too. Oh, he does it he did it. <laughs> I was all like, uh, hello. <laughs> I have to knock? I didn't see a bell. Or... So, to the seedy underbelly here. Boom. Oh. How did you. But. Right. She didn't have the seal of the king. I know, right? <laughs> Oh. Foul. Guys, come on. Oh. My Waifu. journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon oh, gave got me a name. his name. For I was born with none. I was born of dragons. Contrived by men. By ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be best. And men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing Wait. that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great she soul. covets the first flame. Put Nashandra to rest. So now this didn't come as a surprise to us because we already learned about it previously. If we hadn't looked it up, though, it would have been like, what? <laughs> All right, so this is the part. This, the throne, throne of, of Want. want. Is, That's pretty badass. This section, I think, is the prettiest and coolest looking part of the whole game. I'm glad they save it for the last. Kind of like when you first walk into the shrine, into the, you know, beyond the gates of Dark Souls 1. <laughs> this is awesome. All the blood stains. Yeah. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Just look at it. This is it. This I think this is gorgeous. It's so simple, right? Yeah. But it's just this endless, it's, and it's a run up. You know, there's no bot. There's no baddies that you have to fight. There's yeah, no that's like. Nice. It's not a gauntlet. It's not confusing. You don't have to remember your way. You don't have to find shortcuts. It's very. There's no music that's playing. Right. Like I feel like it's very like intimidating. And I like to imagine that even though this looks like rock, I think it's wax. I like to imagine it's wax. That these are candles. Huh. The whole thing looks so much cooler if you think of it as wax. Yeah, you're right. Just yeah. ever, ever burning. And... I imagined it as wax the first time, and I was all oh, like, really? I have no idea if it actually is wax. I think it's stone, but that's to think yeah. of it as wax is so cool. And so the castle's up there, and then we're coming down to was essentially the belly the of dark. the first flame, Look. right? Yeah, let's see who's here. Vengarl has come to aid you. That's my headless buddy? Yeah. Well, he's headed now. Bradley of the Old Guard. He's been around, but I haven't, haven't really done much of him. Benhart of Jugo, even. The guy with this big old sword in the very beginning. Oh, with the the blue sword? Yep. Wow. Now, you were supposed to do like a side quest sort of stuff with him, but... I know, we, we talked really about did. that at the beginning, how yeah. like the NPCs, we kind of have to... Yeah, you'll also notice that uh, the Lady of Mira, um, what's her name? Lucatiel, is not with you. Oh, is she? A, she went hollow. 
We missed Which it. is... Oh. We would have actually encountered the Going Hollow, but we mi- you missed a, a section, so we oh, okay. threw off the, the storyline, which is fine. Are you ready? Let's do it. Great. Welcome for an unnecessary boss that doesn't even need to be here. Part one. So this is a three boss fight, uh, depending on what you say and do, and of course, um, although I'm not sure if it's optional in... 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 I, I, Scholar of the First Sin, I'm not sure if it changes if the third boss is... you can alter things, but anyway. I don't really feel like this boss has much point, you know? Like, it's kind of a... Because it's not the Queen. Yeah, it's not the Queen, and you've never heard of these people, and I don't really know why we're fighting them, other than, you know, they're just here to defend defend the throne. Um, Damn it, jump, baby cake. We have this miscommunication all the fucking time. Yeah. Oh, she, oh, she blocked right up. at the end, yeah. Um, they have their own souls, too, and their own weapons that you can acquire from their souls. Maybe they wanted to... Uh, that have lore on them. Uh, invoke Ornstein's smell with the two two fighter thing? I don't know. I know, you've already... Oh, fuck. oh man, Jesus that was Christ. close. You've uh, already fought in, uh, a lot. Uh, Ornstein's, like, basically... You weren't seen successor essentially. And you That's already true. fought a couple two boss fights already. The two, um, the two dragon riders. So what's the point of? Yeah, I don't really know what the point of this boss fight is, other than being hard. Dark Souls too. Dark Souls. Hard. Anyway, but now you can just run through. It's great. You do have to wait for the door to open every goddamn time though. Well, there's nothing chasing me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I. See, the thing is, the difference between, like, this fight and the king, it's like, oh, I actually did damage. Like, the, yeah, the yeah. king fight, I was like, I am doing shit for damage. Yeah. Uh, and I assume, like, I don't get a rest between this fight, these two bosses and the next one, so I have to use my eight Estus uh, sparingly. Or... Yes, unless you die, in which case you can come back fighting the next boss already. Oh, right, that's, huh. At least that. Well, yeah, that's you weird. To, you, you, you don't have to fight all three bosses in a row. You would think they'd want to make it a gauntlet. What else is the point, really? Yeah, well, they're hard on their own right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fair, I suppose. So, um... So, like, the, the, the first time, I, you know, I had to play the game mostly by myself. But the second time, I had no, uh... What do you call them? Reservations. No, no, yeah, no reservations, and I just summoned randomly here and there. So I was like, oh, I got no one to prove. I already did it. Um, I did summon somebody in for this fight the second time, just to you know help break up the two two boss thing. Um, but I didn't really need them for the next two. Fuck. Next two. Yeah, there's three bosses. There's this one, and the next one, and the next oh, one after that. I thought that this was a. You thought this was two of the three <laughs> when yeah. I said three. Yeah. I was hoping. It's okay. Oh, that was a nice shot. Somehow, like, when he attacks and I'm close to him, it's not necessarily hitting, which is, I'm not going to complain you, about. You got both of them in that one hit. That's was pretty solid. Eh. I need to figure out, like, attack patterns and shit. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, they, they're kind of, you know, t- tiered to... Look at that, that's pretty solid. Look at you go. Eh. Um... Eh. They're tiered to, you know, like, when, when one of them's... They they gang up on you, which is the advantage of having it. Oh, person. come on. Jump, baby cake, jump! Oh, hey, you got her. Oh, careful there. I know, I started to pull it out of my pocket. I'm like, ah, not the best. Her shield is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it's got like... It kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Oh, Absolutely. Ah, that would have been a good time to heal. Oh man, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's... Eh. Drop your shield. Oh, she ran out of juice. <laughs> that was weird. She like backtracked a little bit. Damn uh, it! Damn it! All right. No, I keep trying to do the jump thing. You know, the jumping really... the jumping's not a terrible idea, though. I mean, you do usually pay for it, but what the advantage is is that because of the distance you're at when you do the jump, 
they they sometimes like drop their shield a little bit. Oh, I didn't like that. She took a Okay, she's just taking a knee. Ugh. Bummer. Alright, big gay. So these are just a, essentially thematically guardians. Oh! Some bitch. Nice. Solid shot. Unfortunately, now she's up to full. Oh, full? Yeah. Fuck. Can they both do that to each other? Yes. Fuck. I didn't want to tell you. I know, you know, I'm glad you didn't. It's good to discover on your own type thing. You did almost get them, though. That was, that was a good... Fuck. Good thing, yeah. You do have to kill them relatively close. Not, as you saw, you had a good amount of time. So, I mean, I should leave the defender and go for the watcher now. Yeah, yeah. But she seems like she t takes more damage anyway, really. And bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Oh, you've definitely got it, though, this time. Like, now that you know the mechanic. Bleh. Get them both down and then... And then fight! So there's this one, the queen, and then... Something else. Maybe it's the queen part two. Uh, are we linking the flame? Are we not linking this the flame? This is a question that only you can answer. Oh no. I you should probably those. stand close to it then. I don't know it's doing it. it. Okay, it's doing okay. it. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I didn't hear anything telling me it was doing it, but I know. So this... Originally... There were... Um, yeah. Originally there were two options. Uh, before Scholar of the First Sin came out. Now there are three options. What? So throughout this whole game, what has Scholar of the First Sin added? A whole bunch of stuff. Enemy placement has changed. Sometimes for the better or? Uh, depends? Generally or? considered to be for the better. There are, of course, moments like the Shrine of Amana where you're like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. But sometimes, generally, it's, it's, it is better. Um, I don't need this anymore, do I? You will need it to continually open that door. So if you want to switch, it out, switch it out, switch yeah. it out, switch it out. I'm not gonna die anymore. Up to you. But anyway, the um, uh, some enemies in general have changed. Um, you know, stat rebalancing. Uh, but it, it really didn't change story at all. Yeah. Yes, it did. Uh, that entire scholar, the oh, scholar of the first sin, Aldia. Was oh, not he's in the original. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Can you imagine just running around being all like, what the fuck is going on? You know? Yeah, that he, sounds kind of awful. He adds so much more weight to the game. Like, so much more, like, meat. Doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Absolutely. his presence is so cool. Like, he's, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, you cannot run if you run out of stamina. If you deplete your stamina, you can't run. Oh, which is right behind fucking you. Fucking stupid. And dead. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, blah, blah. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, no, his uh, the presence of the of the scholar of the oh first God, sin I hate this. makes the game so much better. And, and let's dead. discuss the scholar. Let's discuss the the first sin. Um, I'm not sure if they really talk about what the first sin is in this game. They probably do somewhere, and I'm like not really fully versed. But let's just guesstimate since we're just talking. Um, talking over death. It's cool. Yeah, I, I want to say like the first sin. In, like in Christianity, obviously, you know, it would be the the, the eating, apple and eating the snake, a, exactly eating the bestiality, the fruit. Um, but um, the knowledge, the apple of knowledge, you, right? The fruit of the tree of knowledge. It wasn't. I mean, ah, uh, what? I think you got too close to him or something. I, I was think. dicking around here. This whole fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, this is fun. You like that? <sighs> no. <laughs> oh, and I didn't have the, the king's fucking. Oh that's my That's probably God. why he attacked you, maybe, because he didn't have. That's the probably king's ring. stupid ass yeah. shit. So anyway, so mad. Uh, in this one, they talk about humanity. And they talk about the curse of the undead, right? Maybe that's related to the sin. They believe that the curse uh, is is because of the first sin. Oh, now it's open. You know what I mean? Oh, but what would be the first sin? Are you 
likening it to Christianity exactly? Or? No, I don't know. What would be what? I think that's why he's the scholar. He's trying to find out what the first sin was. Uh, and why? But it has something to do with the flame. Um. No. Because, no, those are two distinct opposites here. Well, when did people start becoming human, or when did when did humanity start becoming undead, hollowed? Oh, there's so much here. This is like it's a little heavy. Uh, I mean, it, I don't even know enough to categorize it and classify it right. to no, be that. You know, it's, yeah, nobody really knows when it started. It's all so very vague, but whatever it is, there's some sort of. It is a. They always call it a curse, but I think it's only a curse in relation to the gods. Cause the gods see it as something bad because they're afraid of it, right? Mm -hmm. so we've always talked about how. How humanity has been kind of Damn it. taken taken down, kind of. Oh, that was a good shot. Right there. Good I know I didn't have enough stamina. Oh, or enough man. hit points. Or enough fucking stupid goddamn. Um, <sighs> you know how ha humanity has always been under the heel of the gods, and so I think they call it a curse. It's because they don't understand it and don't you know, like it, and they're afraid of it, and even humanity is kind of afraid of their own darkness, you know, the darkness that lies within their own hearts. Well, and you just look so ugly. Let's see if this guy... Yeah, I think it has huh. to do with the huh. king. That's why that other guy didn't become... didn't become, uh... the guy when you were going up the ladder. Oh, that's, that's why he didn't... Un oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can go through this whole thing, and like, if you have the king of the... The ring of the king. The it not, may not even be just because of the ring. It might also be because you have the full set you know, on your and the soul. Oh, um, maybe you know, like all together, you kind of. But that guy, when I didn't have the ring, came it was, to. It was pretty specific with the ring, and he's yeah. like, "I will smash." So that's cool. It's kind of a neat detail. I like that uh -huh. detail. For how much you hate all of the game. Yeah. You you get this. Uh, I do. It's just I don't want. Like, All the whole running. You should stop running before you. Run no, out. I know, mom. And you should be like, you know. I get it. I get, and stop you and keep, recover you and keep stop getting tired. and recover. You're just gonna and stop have to keep and recover. I get it. <sighs> I just want to be able to run forever. I know. You had me put all my points into hit points. I needed more in my strength. More strength. Yeah. You're at fifty strength. I know. What could you possibly use more strength for? it? Oh, you agreed you needed more hit points. Oh, how'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Baby Cake's been doing that, like, this whole... You, like, fight. ducked under them. These enemies are so tall that they just... You're like, huh? Turtled under it. Yeah. Boom! Oh, yes, that was a good one. Mm, almost worth it. I, I still call it worth it. You if did. I can fucking run, god damn it, it's so annoying. <sighs> you gotta heal like twice every time because you gotta run I, yeah. and then you get a drink and then they hit you and then you gotta run drink. Oh no. my god, fucking son of a. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Did it. Jesus, uh, this guy really wants a piece of me here. Then give him a piece. Just the Break him off a piece of that no, Kit Kat that's bar. No good, baby cake. I will accept payment in check form and Kit Kat bars. Kit Kat. All right, you guys, you guys being fucking dicks. Fucking dirtion. Okay, now it definitely wasn't worth it because now you've <laughs> that one attack has cost you like three Estus flasks. Oh, so I'm nailing been... the defender this time. Yeah, you've been going after the, the guy. Gotta hit the girl. Oh my god, where the fuck did she come from? She's Jeez. fast. She's a quickie. No. Um, should we fast forward this? Let's do it. Montage time! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yo, 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 oh no, you didn't. Sucker tried to blame me, but you never paid me, never. Oh no, you didn't. Payback is a coming, you will be running forever. Oh no, you did! Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem. Oh no, you did! I'm a mercenary, you ain't got a prayer, you owe me. Oh no, you did! Oh no, you didn't! Oh no, you didn't!
First you try to trap me, then you bust a cap in my ass Oh no you didn't! Such humiliation will bring annihilation at last Oh no you didn't! It will be delicious when I get vicious tomorrow Oh no you didn't! There's no second chances, you will do the dance of sorrow Oh no you didn't! 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 Didn't you, oh no, you didn't pay me what you owe me So now it's over for you What a fool Okay Awesome Woo. Did it That only took forever Yeah, you got two souls, that's pretty solid You only have one SS flask, well done Grab your, grab your other soul. Oh, wait. You, I have grab it. all of my zero souls. You could. Uh, oh, here we go. Hey, I was busy. You could use your uh, aged feather to keep those souls. Grave undead. Oh, I don't care about keeping yourself to me. Oh. What the fuck? It's a piece of dark. Nishandra. This is some straight bloodborne shit. She looks like uh, Nito a little bit, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Now, be one with the dawn. She's pretty fucking cool. So those things? Humanity. Watch your health. You're cursed. Oh, I'm dead. You're cursed again. So those things are pure curse. Like, getting close to them is crazy bad. Bad. Yes. Um, oh, man. You gotta take it. Well, I wasn't expecting too much. It was just a, a peek and shriek type moment, huh? All right. Well, hey, um... I think that's a good place to end this episode. You do? Yeah. But, uh, Travis. Yeah, right before the ending of the boss. Oh. Just as you lose your mustache. Oh. And on a cliffhanger. It's so oh dramatic. My God. This has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Travis. <laughs> I'm Marcus. And we'll see you next time.